Hello and welcome back again to Montana John's Outdoor Adventure. The only place in Montana that will I will take you out and shoot guns. I will take you out in the middle of nowhere somewhere like this. That's really cool. With no taxi cabs or buses or horns honking or any of that stuff. And maybe you will see Bigfoot on this adventure. So if you want to go out to, if you ever come out to Montana, or you want to come out to Montana, call me, book a trip out here, and I will take you on an adventure shooting guns. AR-9 pistol, rifle, the kel Sub-2000, and you get to shoot the Glock 17 handgun. Also, you get to shoot the AR-12. So remember, and also you will get a uh, t-shirt, and you will get a picture taken holding the gun, and I will print it right here out in the middle of nowhere. So today I'm just going out and I'm doing some bobcat sets and it's a really not, it's just an overcast day and I'm just looking around and taking a ride here and uh, this is one of the things you will do if you come on my adventure. So I figured I would just do a little road trip so you never know. We're going to turn the uh, camera on here. I'm going to be driving down the road and seeing what we see. So if you take a Montana John's adventure afterwards if you like. If we have time, I'll take you out and do this. I have packages for everyone, too, as well, like group rates and lunches and drinks and everything. So I'm going to get in my, in my truck here, and we're going to go down the road for a little ride. Remember, like this video, click the subscribe button right now, and make sure you click the bell for notifications because I've been doing this around the outdoors for almost 50 years, and I've been around guns for almost 50 years. So... Let's go for a little ride and see what we see. I have no idea what's planned in store for us. So this is what you'll do when you come out here on one of my adventures. Go for a ride after shooting or on the way into where we go shooting somewhere. I don't tell the location where we shoot. It's a kind of a quiet location. And I will, you could do videos and pictures as we drive. So you might see deer, moose, bear, elk, maybe even Bigfoot. You never know. He's out here running the woods of Montana here. So let's go for a ride and check it out. Everybody has a broken windshield in Montana. Well, let's see what we see. We'll go for a little ride. I'll try to get the crack out of the windshield. I'm thinking about including a grizzly bear claw on one of my Montana Johns out there adventures. So I'm debating on that. Whoops. Let's kill that radio because you're not supposed to have music on a YouTube video. They get mad about that. So let's go down the road here and see what we see. There's the Rocky Mountains way out here. Let's roll the window down. So if you were in my passenger seat, you would be looking out way over there. That's why wow, the mountain in the background, way back there, that snow-covered mountain. <coughs> Excuse me. That's got to be close to almost 80 miles. Close. So we'll drive on out here and see what we see never know what you're gonna see in Montana so I just drive and look it is beautiful out though I mean just to be able to live out here we are lucky to be living in God's country I forget who sings that song. Is it Blake Shelton, God's Country? He should come to Montana. He would freak out. Blake Shelton. I know he likes, or is it Luke Bryan, likes hunting and fishing. He does that one. Well, yeah, this is, this is beautiful out here. I mean, look at that. Way out there. I mean, that's, you're, you can't see what I could see on the video. It's gorgeous. I got the windows down, just driving through the woods here. And where I'll take you shooting is a location I don't give out. It's a nice, quiet, secret location. I don't take anybody there but my clients. Man, this is cool coming up here. Hunting season's over. Nobody around. I'm gonna go check the bobcat traps. Actually, I just checked my bobcat line and trap line. And uh, I'm gonna try a new 
new area to trap today. I have seven traps on this other road, or this other trap line, and I'm gonna probably put five more if I can. It's, wow, it's almost three o'clock. I have a little over two hours before dark. But the cool thing about trapping is, you can do it 24 hours a day. So, boy, it's, it's snowing way over there. Yep, maybe I'll wash my windshield so you can see a little better here, hold on. So it's not so dirty, there you go. So you'll be driving right along and just looking at stuff like this. This is what you'll be driving when I take you out in the middle of nowhere. You will not be hearing taxi cab blowing their horns. You won't be seeing any buses or Greyhound buses. And I don't even think we'll see many people. It's like really quiet out here. So I mean, you don't run into very many people out here. The phone keeps banging against the windshield. But if you want to come out to Montana and go on a Montana John's Outdoor Adventure, I have really cool packages. I have group rates. I have all the guns and transportation. You could jump in my vehicle and I'll drive around. I got all the eyewear, eye protection, ear protection. I give you a really cool t-shirt. You can check out my website. mtjoa.com mtjoa.com These are some really cool rows. You can grouse hunt, you can elk hunt, deer hunt, bear hunt, moose, bobcat, mountain lion, wolf hunt. There's a pack of wolves up here. There's some running around. A lot of wolf tracks up here. I mean, that's a cool picture. You, man, you can't even see it on the video. That's really cool out there. This is really cool to be driving a dirt roads of Montana. So remember, I'm the only one in the entire state of Montana, which is 147,000 square miles, and I will take you out shooting guns, supply everything, all the ammunition, all the guns, metal reactive targets, I supply drinks, you get a t-shirt, I supply the eyewear, eye protection, ear protection. Like I said, I even take pictures and I print them out. Right out here, I print a picture of a mini printer. Give you a little credit card size picture. So, this is pretty cool. I've only been driving on this road for three miles. It's not a very long ride. And you can hunt everywhere you want to go if you know how to do it and not get lost. You get lost out here, you're in trouble. You better know how to make a fire. You better know how to stay warm and dry. Build shelter and cover. Have enough food with you. I didn't bring any food today. It's the first time ever that I've never brought food. I have lots of water and drinks. So if I need to eat something, I'll shoot a squirrel or a rabbit. Bird, I don't care. I don't have any cell service up here. So, sorry if you keep hearing that tap. I keep smacking the window. I better put her in four wheel. I don't think I need four wheel drive here. I thought I was going to get icy right here. It's only 39 degrees. It's warm for this time. 
of year here in Montana and I can't believe that I'm able to drive up my favorite place to shoot grouse. This is one of my favorite grouse roads. We shot many, many blue grouse up here. My kids, they come up here hunting, they like to look. My son almost shot a mountain lion up here one year with his sister. I think I'm gonna invest in a GoPro. This road is steeper than what it looks. And I'm only gonna put this one trap up here. I know it's kind of a pain in the neck to drive up here, but I'm putting it, I'm only gonna put one bobcat set up here. And I'm just gonna leave it up here until the snow flies. Once it gets too much snow, I'm not gonna be able to come and get it. So I will take it out of here before the season's over so I can get it or get to it. So I'll put this bobcat trap up here after I get this one set done. I will uh, see what I get. A lot of snowshoe rabbits on this road too. My daughter loves shooting the snowshoe rabbits and eating them. She sure does. Snowshoe rabbit is delicious. Oh, I want to ask you, while I'm thinking about it, click the like button. Make sure you like it. I want to get lots of likes. And I want to build my YouTube channel, so please subscribe. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. I'm going to be doing really cool videos. I have a month worth of videos on a list to do. Right on this bend here, my daughter and her grandfather have a really cool picture. Like, when she, 18 years ago when she was standing right here with her grandfather. And these trees were as tall as my daughter. Oh. These trees right here are 18, oh, I'd say 18, 20 years old. I'll leave it over 20 because they were here when, when my daughter was a kid. And if you saw the picture that I have with her standing here with her granddad, he was uh, a really cool guy. And so she was two years old standing here. And these trees were so little, they were tiny. This is a narrow road. And it opens back up. It's really beautiful back here. And 18, actually 20 years ago, all these trees were like two feet tall. This was a big clear cut or a big meadow when they logged it. And now look at these trees, they're huge. All these trees were like two feet, three feet. There wasn't many over four feet. Pretty cool. All right, well, I'm gonna end this video in a second here. So if you wanna to come to Montana John's Outdoor Adventures, look up my website, mtjoa.com. My phone number is on there. It's on the bottom of every web page of my website, every page. So, or you can go to the contact information and look for the, to contact me and get my phone number. You can go on Montana John's Outdoor Adventures on Facebook and you can Click the call button. I have a button and I'll call my cell phone directly. So if you want to know anything about like group rates and packages and things and specials, just call me anytime you want, 24 hours a day. I'm going to turn around here. I'm going to back down this road. So remember, please like this video and also subscribe. Click the like button, subscribe and click that bell for notifications or you're gonna miss out on all my videos. I'm gonna try and do several videos a week now. I'm gonna try and do at least two or three videos a week. I don't know when I'll post them, I'll just put them up and I will 
give you some really cool videos of all kinds of things that I'm doing out here in Montana. So again, thank you for watching and God bless America, everybody.